So people are saying that the real estate sky is falling. The market in the real estate industry is going to uh, to, to to crash and burn. We're we're gonna we're gonna see you know prices going down and people not buying because interest rates are high and there's fear of the recession and inflation, stagflation, gas prices, all of that. I am here to tell you that I just don't see that happening. And the main reason is because of inventory. There is no inventory in our market right now. We've got less than one month's worth of inventory in the market, even though we've had an influx of listings in the past couple of months. Also, uh, the average sales price continues to rise. It's not rising as precipitously or as, as, as generously as it has previously, but we went from 439 average sales price, rounding up here, to 446 average sales price month over month. So prices are still rising, inventory is still really tight. Yes, interest rates are increasing. However, people buy homes regardless of interest rate. Back in the 80s, interest rates were in, in like the 18%. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You would think nobody would be buying a house, right? But you know what? People bought houses. It still happened. Right now we're in the low sixes, which is very, very much like it was in the early 2000s. The early 2000s was a frenzied market as well. We all saw what happened before the crash came. People were buying houses left and right, and they were buying them at 6% or maybe even more. So interest rates, yes, they are going to impact some people. Some people will no longer be able to qualify for a mortgage because the interest rate is too high and their debt to income ratios won't allow for that. Um, some people will decide to hold off and wait for the interest rates to, to come back down before making a move or they'll maybe be priced out of a price bracket they were previously in because the interest rate rose and now they can only qualify for something less. So they might hold off and see what happens with the interest rates and go from there. But, uh, you know, the, this market's not crashing. We've got too many people moving to Florida. We've got no inventory. We've got people moving within Florida. We've got 25% of the homes sold in quarter four of last year were purchased by investors. Those are homes that are turning into rentals that people are not gonna be able to buy. So bam, 25% of the homes gone, gone to investors so they can rent them out to people and keep people from purchasing. So, yes, are things changing? Yes. Is the market moving more towards a stabilized market? Looks to be like that is starting to happen, and that's a good thing. That is a good thing for all of us, for buyers and for sellers. Yes, sellers, you know, you're not gonna get those 15 offers on your home in two days, but you're still gonna get offers on your home. Your value is gonna to continue to increase. If you price your house properly, you price your house according to the market and condition, you're still gonna to get top dollar. Buyers, you might not be competing with as many people for a home. And that you know that's beneficial to you as well. So do not let these people that are screaming that these interest rates are gonna crash the market and, and, and all of this stuff is going to, to crash the market because there's just no indications of that happening. You know, it's, it's a supply and demand and right now there's no supply and there's still a ton of demand and there's gonna be a ton of demand for a long time because Central Florida is a great place to be and people wanna come here, people are coming here just like they always have and that's about that, so. That's my impassioned speak about, speech about the market. I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye.